It's a while since I've bought one of these sort of dancing flame LED candles and I wanted to see how the market's evolving. So I went on eBay and I looked for, for any UK sellers that had some that I could get quite quickly and this one was notable because it was suspiciously cheap, including shipping, you're thinking, by the time they've added the cost of shipping within the UK, which would be about £2.80, um, the price they charged, which was about £5, maybe less £5, it doesn't leave much for the actual product. And I was thinking, well, maybe it's complete crap. And you know what? It is. So um, it's got some very quirky features. It just doesn't look like anything is properly aligned in here. And it also, it runs off two AA cells and it's got a sort of orangey yellow LED, the traditional sort of old school colour of fake flames. It doesn't look the slightest bit flamey at all, it looks all sodium and yellow. And the LED, even with fresh batteries, dips in time to the coil being pulsed, so not that great. I've already tried poking a screwdriver down to try and push this out the bottom because these things are notoriously well glued in. They're quite hard to get out the wax case. But I, I haven't had any luck, so I'm going to have to find an alternative way into this. So I'm going to take the batteries out. And I'm going to take this screwdriver and I'm just going to put it in here. And that's it. Right. So what have we got? Well, we've got a somewhat different arrangement from normal here. We've got a tiny little circuit board down here with the switch assembled on it. Um, and we've got the little coil up here, which doesn't have any active circuitry on it, the look of it. What's interesting is that, uh, does that have a magnet in as well? It's got a magnet in both sides. But it's unusual, it's different from the normal ones, that the normal ones have the magnet mounted underneath, whereas this is, is just straddling. It normally has a small hole in it, and this wire going through and pressed down. But this wire is fixed in this instance, a little wire hinge. Um, and this just sits over like a saddle and gets deflected from the side. And this was very noisy. It clanks and it clatters. It's hitting stuff all the time. Um, and... Hmm, it's not great. So let's uh, go a wee bit further into the base. It looks like it just unplugs its kind of modular sort of spacers. I'm guessing that's just for the different sizes of candles. This uh, screws in though. Uh, the circuit board is probably going to have a blob in it. I would expect it to have a little uh, chip on board blob. So let's uh, grab a screwdriver and take a look at that. I've never quite got why they just keep using these uh, wax bodies. I'm going to melt that down actually. I'm not sure how well it'll burn as actual candle wax. But uh, I, I don't know why they try and emulate the look of a candle when it's so fake in the first place. Why don't they just make it out of plastic? But they don't. They they go for this wax look because I guess the first ones did. The uh, good quality Luminara, the outdoor one, does use uh, a plastic case. Okay, so what am I seeing here? I'm seeing a Classic 8-pin chip, you know what, I bet this has no numbers on it. It's got no numbers on it. Uh, and then the other side, there's possibly a transistor. Is that a voltage regulator? A transistor? I don't think it's going to be. Where's the coil? Uh, or, or is that for regulating the current to the LED? I guess the transistor has been used. It says M6 on it. I would have thought that that would have been used to actually drive the coil. And the wire does come from that area. So I would guess that transistor is buffering the output from this chip up. Uh, I can see a 20 ohm resistor, which may be for the LED. There's not really an awful lot in this. It's very sparse. It's got lots of component positions, but nothing's actually in them. It's just like blank solder pads with the only the only resistor being a tiny one right next to the, the chip itself. Um, so kind of sparse, really. Uh, does it look any better for the fact that it's out of the case? Because these things sometimes look better just in a sort of like a bare bones sort of style. This also has an annoying quirk that it tends to latch, it tends to stick 
uh, and jam, particularly if it can get near the LED leads, because the LED leads are steel and the magnet just uh, attracts to them. Uh, so let's stick the batteries back in. Has it improved it? Mm, it looks visually more interesting because it is just a sort of skeletal thing dancing around, but uh, when it comes to the crunch, no, it's not really improved. It's not really that great a movement. I'm guessing, see, there, there's a the thing. It's actually the magnet is being attracted and it's clicking off the coil. I wonder if that would actually damage the windings or wear them, wear through after a period of time. I don't think it would because that is, oh no, it is the metal of the magnet that's actually hitting that. It's odd. What an odd arrangement. I wonder if that's purely so they can say, you know, we're deflecting the flame with magnets, but it's not underneath, uh, you know, like the, um, like the Luminara one. If I want it was to get round a patent in some way or some, I don't think that really bothers most Chinese manufacturers. So yes, it's it's a pile of shit, but uh, interesting, nonetheless.